Right now, we're at 14, and then I'm getting like four and a half full guys, like abs out of it. So it's giving my system about like four and a half. I gotta see this. Now that's a first. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Engineered, man. What's your name? I'm Rob. Rob? Yeah. Uh, Jacob? Nice to meet you. Yep. What you have all for your setup? Uh, four uh, DCXL 15s, uh, two 5Ks. Oh. Yeah, my door jammers thing is broken. What is it, meter? Uh, 58. Ooh. And these are on the DC 5Ks? Yeah. Two of them? Uh, half of them or one of them? Uh, half. Okay. So how did you do the lithium? I mean, not the lithium, the um, solar, solar panels. Panel. Yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, after the demo. Yeah. That box is a lot bigger than it was before. Yeah. So it's a, what's it tuned to? Uh, 52. Oh, man. Hey, thanks, man. You built it? Yeah. Okay. You've been doing a lot of testing, I see. Yeah. I was gonna say, you really, you put a, so what did you do on the surface to make it smooth? Just uh, fiberglass resin. Fiberglass resin, okay. Yeah, I, I, I poured it on this side, then I flipped it over, and then I poured it on that side, then I flipped okay. it over. And gotcha. It on this side. So then it would sit on the ground and yeah. level. That makes sense. Whew. Peak's pretty high. Can I see the alternators and explain to the solar panel? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. What's up, man? And then there's a charge controller because it comes out anywhere between uh, 12 volt all the way up to 22, so you need uh, okay. something to regulate it. So, okay. so that gives you power also, not just charging? Yeah. Okay. So right now we're at 14, and then I'm getting like four and a half volt guys, like amps out of it. So it's giving my system about really? like four and a half amps. And then I put another panel on, I'll be at like six something. Yeah. Looks good, man. You're leaking at the bottom of it. Yeah. Uh, still working on it? Yeah. I, before I go up, I got a gaff tape everything. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, we're still tuning everything and figuring out where everything fits. Awesome. Thanks for the demo, man. For the shop. Yeah, nice man. You. Yeah, man. You too.
Jacob Varro. I do daily cardio videos. Today's system was really unique and different. Probably the first time I have ever seen solar power on the top of a vehicle for cardio. I don't know about you guys, but that was pretty cool to see. Um, pretty large too, because he had two of them on top of his vehicle. So it was pretty much getting most of his vehicle's uh, top portion for uh, surface area. So if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a like. Let, it, let them know in the comments what you think. And if you want a shout out as I'm about to do, just let me know in the comments with some good feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with shout out of the day. Today's going to be Benjamin Nichols. He said, hey man, you do really good videos. Keeps me with uh, me building my own system. It's good to hear, man. Uh, he said, go ahead and keep it up. Good work. And give me a shout out. There's your shout out, man. Appreciate it. And uh, wanted to say two things today. First, um, I try to do daily videos. There may be a time later on where I might run out. I'll let you know in the commentaries if I do. But until then, I'll continue to do daily videos. And I appreciate you guys always watching. And how about today, let's go ahead and talk about two topics. One, have you ever seen a solar power system before? Um, his system was supplied by battery and alternator power too, of course. But in general, he had a regulator for his solar power. And his solar power was only giving him so many amperage per um, second or minute or whatever as he was talking about but in general have you ever seen solar power before let me know in the comments 
And a uh, second topic is some people are like, why would you tune a box just for the high notes? What do I mean by that? It means you can't play 30 hertz, you can't play 25 hertz, you can't even play 35 to 40 hertz almost. Why would you tune a box just in the 40 to 5 to 55 hertz range to play that? So it depends on the person. If you want to play music, um, you can still play music in that range, but you're not going to be able to play low frequencies. Like I was saying, his is built more for SPL, burp. So his is made for a higher ratio fourth order. It's tuned high. I think he said it was 52 hertz he was peaking at, squeezing me in that demo, as you can tell. Uh, mid to high 50s on music, pretty impressive for the power. I think he had two 5Ks or whatever the DC amps he had was. It's in the video description. Um, but yeah, it was uh, tuned really high. And why would you do that? It's all SPL based or music preference. So there's nothing really you can judge on somebody else's system because they decide on what they want to tune to. They build it to their liking and their preference, especially being homemade like his was. So that's all I got for the day. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, stay tuned for video tomorrow. This is Jacob Vile out. And if you didn't know, this is my system where I'm recording in today. And I'll be putting a video at the end that says my setup. Check that out if you want.